Hello everyone and welcome back to another Star Wars figure review. Today we're going to take a look at some more Black Series 6 inch figures. Once again, this character comes to us from Star Wars The Last Jedi and it is none other than Rey in her Jedi training gear. Now this is without a doubt one of my favourite figures that I picked up on Force Friday 2. I absolutely love Rey's new outfit, I love the accessories that are included with this figure and I really love the way that Hasbro have handled this one and I can't wait to show it to you in a little bit more detail throughout this video. Before we do that however, as always, be sure to hit the link in the video description where you can purchase this figure for yourself and right off the bat I highly recommend you do so. Like with Kylo Ren in my previous review, she doesn't seem to be getting snapped up that quickly at retail, so your chances of picking this one up are pretty high, um, but it's definitely one that I wouldn't leave hanging on pegs, because it's a really nice figure, and once you get this one in hand, you'll really know what I mean. It's a great figure, you can get this one in some really cool poses, and again, can't recommend it enough. So if you're a fan of Rain, you're a fan of the new movies, be sure to go out and get this one. So we're going to touch base on this character and this figure in a little bit more detail in just a moment, but before we do that, let's take a look at the packaging that she comes in. I've got to refrain from getting too angry and going into too much detail about this packaging because, again, I've made my feelings known about it in previous reviews. Um, artwork on the box, stellar. Really nice job, Gregory Titus. The rest of the box, Hasbro, pick up the game. I'm really, really getting bored of this packaging design, but again... That's a story for another time, as Maz Kanata would say. Uh, with regards to the packaging itself, you've got Star Wars The Black Series featured at the top. Artwork once again in the bottom corner, accompanied by the name of the character just opposite. On the side of the box, you've got the number in the series. I've noticed I've gone backwards with these reviews. I've gone from 46 through to 44 instead of the other way, but hey ho. Uh, and then on the back, as you can see, you've got the number again, the Star Wars Black Series logo at the side. Some enlarged artwork of the character and a bio just next to that. So again, pretty standard stuff, nothing to get excited about. The figure inside, however, is plenty to get excited about. It's a really, really nice one. So let's take a look at her. So here she is. This is Rey as she appears in Star Wars The Last Jedi during what we're assuming is going to be a sort of retread of The Empire Strikes Back. I really didn't want to say that in this review, but I'm... I'm gearing myself up for it. I'm really expecting some similar, some mirrored scenes from the Empire Strikes Back with regards to Rey's Jedi training. Um, the only thing that I don't think we'll see is Rey carrying Luke around in a backpack on her back. But uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. I'm not entirely convinced that The Last Jedi is going to be a complete reboot of the Empire Strikes Back, but uh, I would definitely assume there are going to be some similarities. But we'll see in December. Can't wait till the movie comes out. And I'm really looking forward to seeing where the character of Rey goes. Now, with the figure itself, the accessories, the detail on this one, absolutely phenomenal. But we'll touch base on articulation first, and then we'll go into detail about some of the other stuff in a moment. So with regards to articulation, she is, as always with the 6-inch stuff, super articulated. So you've got a ball joint and a hinge at the neck. Hinges at the shoulders, wrists, and elbows. Went in a, a weird order there, apologies for that. But uh, I really like the fluidity of the joints on the uh, the arms, in particular at the wrists, because as you can see, it allows you to get this figure in some really, really nice poses, some nice natural poses. And uh, the one that I've got her in here is the way she is displayed on my shelf. I absolutely love this sort of double gripped look with the lightsaber, just this ready for battle appearance that she has. She looks really, really nice. We do have a ball joint at the torso. Hinges at the hips that are slightly hindered by the plastic robes, but nothing too serious. You've got some swivels at the upper thigh, a double joint in the knee, as always, and a hinge and a rocker at the ankle. So you can get Ray in some really cool poses. God only knows she's going to need them if she plans to train as a Jedi. Now, I am a little bit curious to know with regards to the plot in The Last Jedi. Obviously, at the time of filming this review, the movie has yet to hit. But in the trailer, we saw Luke um, give the infamous, now well, the now infamous and ominous line that the Jedi must end. But if the Jedi must end, why is Rey training to be a Jedi? It will be revealed, I'm sure. Um, aside from articulation, the figure itself, absolutely phenomenal, especially in terms of sculpt. I love the head sculpt. I think it's far superior to the Rey figures that were put out for The Force Awakens. Paint applications are nice and crisp. Although do be careful for some uh, 
pretty shoddy ones in the store. I've seen some very wonky eyes on this figure. Uh, the hair is obviously a brand new style. Uh, she doesn't have the three buns at the back anymore. Instead, she's got this rather sort of Arya Stark appearance with regards to the uh, the hairdo that she's sporting. The uh, robes and the outfit itself is sort of a modified version of the robes she wears in The Force Awakens. Obviously, slightly different coloured, uh, a little bit more formal um, with regards to the appearance. Gone are her crop trousers, instead she's got some rather traditional Jedi boots. She's got a very, um, she reminds me of Bultar Swan a little bit um, from the, I want to say the Legacy Collection Evolutions pack, which coincidentally enough came with a, a Luke Skywalker figure from the Expanded Universe, obviously a non-canon figure now, but in terms of her appearance she's definitely got this prequel look to her, which is quite interesting, very traditional Jedi appearance. Um, what isn't traditional about this character, however, with regards to being a Jedi, is the fact that she does come with a blaster pistol, which is the same one that was given to her by Han Solo in The Force Awakens. I'll give you a look at that in a moment. And she still comes with her Jakku staff, which is a brand new sculpt, and I'm really, really happy that Hasbro have amended the strap on this figure. The one that was included with Rey from The Force Awakens had a really weird slant on the strap and when you threw it over the shoulder it didn't quite sit right. You had to really position it and angle it correctly to get it to sit right. Whereas this one just drapes over the shoulder nicely. It's a nice solid sculpt, some nice detail. And of course it can be removed um, if you don't want to display Ray with it on, like so. And you can then proceed to display Ray in some different poses which again you can get it in some really, really cool ones. I'm really looking forward to seeing just how much how much backside she kicks in The Last Jedi. Now, as I mentioned, she does come with a blaster pistol, which can be holstered on the belt. Really nice sculpt on that blaster. That can be removed, placed into the hand. And again, looks very, very cool. It's the same one that she was given by Han Solo in The Force Awakens, so it's nice that she's kept hold of that and hopefully we see that become uh, a second weapon of choice for Rey in the film. It's very cool indeed. So all in all, fantastic figure, definitely worthy of a pickup. Again, she's not flying off shelves, but uh, if you're a fan of the character, then this is definitely one that you're going to want to add to your collection and again, I highly recommend you do so because as an action figure, this one just ticks all the boxes. So again, as always, if you want to pick this one up for yourself, be sure to hit the link in the video description, which will take you to staractionfigures.co.uk, and at the time of filming this review, she's in stock now and available to buy. If she's not in stock when you go to purchase her, I'm sure she'll be back soon, so make sure you keep checking that link for more updates. I'm going to be back with some more Black Series 6 inch reviews for you very soon. I've got an absolute ton of these figures to give you a look at as I've just picked up the majority of Wave 2 as well as a couple of First Order exclusives. So we're going to take a look at some really cool figures over the course of my next few videos. Make sure you stay tuned for them and until next time, as always, thank you for watching, keep collecting and may the force be with you.